Okay, so if you are a math student, I'm going to suggest 100% of you need to know these basic properties and facts about triangles. Now, some of the stuff you're going to get later on if you haven't already taken like a full year of geometry in high school, but uh, a lot of these facts and principles about uh, triangles, uh, you kind of learn, you know, a little bit in uh, elementary school, then some in middle school, then in high school, and then later on. But uh, the subject of triangles is actually quite uh, a big topic. There is a lot to know about triangles, but we're just going to cover some basic, interesting, very, very important uh, properties and facts about triangles that all of you should know. So uh, I'm just curious, how many of you out there think that you understand triangles and you uh, know everything about triangles? I'm going to tell you right now, uh, you do not know everything. Well, maybe some of you actually do, but this is a big topic, and when you get to high school level geometry, you're going to find out, like, wow, there is a lot to know about triangles. But uh, anyways, we're going to go over some fun, interesting properties and facts about triangles in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, I come to the conclusion that all students can be successful in math. So if you're struggling in math, you can turn this around, okay? But it requires two things. One, it requires you to work hard, okay? So you gotta study hard, do all the homework, take notes. The second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable math instruction, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, definitely check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Now, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test like the GED, SAT, ACT, a teacher certification exam, anything with a math section on it, I can definitely help you out. If you homeschool, I can help you out. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as I'm posting math videos all the time. Okay, so let's get into triangles and we're just gonna have fun with this and uh, just start with some basic, basic um, ideas about triangles. So first of all, what is a triangle? What's the definition of a triangle? Well, it happens to be uh, part of the uh, classification of a polygon, okay, polygon. And if you didn't know that, that's no big deal. Uh, so some of you are like, well, it's a three-sided thingamajiggy. Well, it is a three-sided polygon, okay? And a polygon, and we call these regular polygons, are figures that we can kind of construct with little line segments, okay? So there's a polygon. This would be like a rectangle, which is another type of polygon. Actually, a quad uh, quadrilateral is what we're talking about. So polygon is, is a big picture uh, concept that you study in depth, and geometry, but a triangle is classified as a uh, three-sided polygon, okay? So if you didn't know that, now you know. Again, these are just some basic facts. Some of these are going to be uh, less important than others, but now I'm going to get to one of the big ones about triangles that all of you should know, and that is the sum of the angles of a triangle, okay? The sum of the angles of a triangle is this. So in other words, here's this angle, Here's this angle, and here's this angle. If I uh, add up angle one, two, and three, what is the sum total? Well, hopefully you know this. The total sum, or the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees, all right? This is a big one, a huge one. If you didn't know that, now you know this. This is probably one of the most critical basic pieces of facts that you need to understand about triangles, that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, so let's move on to some other cool little uh, things about triangles. And this one here, um, you're gonna find out if uh, how much you know about triangles right now. So don't worry about the scale of this. I'm just gonna uh, write something here, two, seven, and one, okay? So let's suppose I have a triangle and its sides, the lengths of its sides are is one, two, and seven, okay? Now, of course, by scale, when we look at this, this is not correct, but let's just suppose that this uh, side right here is one. It could be like one foot, and it gets to be two foot, seven foot. It doesn't make a difference. One, two, and seven. Can you have a triangle with these sides? Is it possible to form a triangle like this, one, two, and seven? So let's kind of mess around with this for a second. Let's try to make this more accurate. So let's say this is seven, and then here I have two. So if this is seven, like half of this would be what? Like um, 
you know, maybe this is around like three, three at six, so three and a half. So you're like, well, two would be like maybe like right here. And then one, if this is seven, maybe one is like right here. Well, it looks like I'm going to have a problem forming a triangle, right? I'm like, well, I don't know. Can I actually do this? This would be two. That would be one. Uh, or maybe I could do it like this. This is two, one, and seven. So here's the thing, though. Can you form a triangle with these lengths? How do we know this? Well, this is something called the triangle inequality theorem. Okay, this is something that probably a lot of you don't know, but here's the deal. Okay, so in a triangle, if you have um, an actual real triangle, uh, the lengths will always follow this property. Okay, so every two uh, uh, sides of a triangle will always be greater than the other side. So, for example, two plus seven that's going to be greater than one. So two plus seven is, of course, nine. Nine is greater than one. Okay, that works out. Uh, how about this right here? Seven plus one. All right, so seven plus one. Is that greater than the other side? Two. Okay, well, let's see. Seven plus one is eight. Eight is, in fact, greater than two. So that checks out there. Now let's go this way. Two plus one. Is two plus one greater than seven? No, three is not greater than seven. This fails, okay? So because two plus one is not greater than seven, this is it's, this is impossible to be a triangle, okay? So all triangles meet this triangle inequality. Matter of fact, let me show you a triangle here that does, and this happens to be a special uh, right triangle, okay? So uh, that's three, this is four, and this is five, and I'm gonna talk about this more in a second. But this is a real triangle with real lengths. This is a um, not a fake triangle like that one I was talking about before. But let's go ahead and test this triangle inequality. So we'll do 3 and 4. So 3 plus 4, is that greater than 5? Well, of course it is. 7 is greater than 5. That checks out there. Okay, so let's do uh, 5 and 3. Okay, so 5 plus 3 is it greater than 4. Okay, well, 8 is greater than 4. That checks out. And let's see here, what do we need to do? We need to do uh, five and four, and that's gonna be a course. Five plus four, is that greater than three? Nine is greater than three, that checks out as well. So when you have a triangle, okay, that uh, is an actual triangle, it will always meet this triangle inequality, right? So this is another basic fact that you wanna know about triangles. Okay, so let's move back to our uh, there are basic things that we want to know about triangles, and I would suggest that you're going to want to know some immediate kind of classification of triangles. So this triangle right here is called what? Well, it's called a right triangle, right triangle, and uh, it is right because this little square there represents 90 degrees, okay? So anytime you have a triangle, which is like a perfect little corner right there, Okay, you put this little box in there, that's 90 degrees. This is a right triangle. These are what we call special triangles, okay? And right triangles are widely, widely studied uh, in mathematics and in geometry. You need to know a lot about right triangles. And one of the things that you know when you are dealing with the right triangles is this, a squared, uh, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, now uh, minus b squared, a plus b, uh, a plus b, squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So this would be a, this would be b, and this would be c. This is something called the Pythagorean theorem. Now, a lot of students confuse this right here as being applicable to all triangles. Like, let's say I have a triangle like this. Uh, that is not the case, okay? This is only applicable to right triangles, and it uh, basically helps us solve the various lengths, or find we can find the missing lengths of a uh, triangle. So let's go back to our other triangle here. Uh, same right triangle, our 3, 4, 5. Let me show you this real quick. So this would be 3, this is 4, and this is 5. So this is an actual uh, right triangle. So what we're saying is 4 squared, okay, a squared, 4 squared, plus 3 squared, which would be right here, this b squared, 3 squared, is equal to this side squared, which is five squared, this of course, c squared, that's called the hypotenuse. So let's see if this works. So four squared is 16, 
plus 3 squared is 9. Is that equal to 5 squared, which is 25? Well, 16 plus 9 is, in fact, 25. 25 is equal to 25. There you go. Okay, so this, again, is called the Pythagorean Theorem, and it's very, very, very important, and you're going to need to uh, understand this, but, it, again, it only applies to right triangles. Now, when you start studying other type of triangles like this, this is called an obtuse triangle, we have all different sorts of nice advanced uh, mathematics to uh, solve these type of problems, uh, namely the law of sines and the law of cosines. This is advanced stuff. Uh, typically, uh, this is going to be taught more like at the Algebra 2 or really like the pre-calculus level. So if you're in either one of these levels, I have full Algebra 2 and pre-calculus courses you can check out. But um, let's go back up to here uh, when we're talking about triangles, okay? there Again, there is so much to know about triangles, and you're going to study triangles really in depth uh, in like high school level geometry. You're going to get into uh, similar triangles, uh, congruent triangles, uh, angle bisectors of triangles. And, uh, you know, there's a lot to know. But again, you want to just take things one step at a time. Just start with these basic facts, okay? The very, very basic things. One, again, a triangle is a three-sided polygon, and uh, the sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. And then knowing a little bit about these uh, theorems, like the triangle inequality theorem and the Pythagorean theorem, that's a good basic set of facts for those of you out there that are studying any level of math. You're going to get more of this advanced stuff again when you get into, uh, you know, like full-on geometry in high school and like pre-calculus into the law of sines and a law of cosines. But uh, again, one thing at a time. And hopefully, you know, all of you out there are saying, you know what, I didn't know that about the triangle inequality. I bet most of you knew that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, but I bet you a lot of you didn't know about that triangle inequality. But that's okay, now you know about it. You know about it now. And um, if that is the case, and you're like, well, it was worth watching this video, well, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, you'll find a thousand plus videos on my channel from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.